In this video, we explore the powerful margin and line property in CSS. This property is uh, specifically designed for handling horizontal margins. We will learn how margin and line simplifies uh, the way we handle uh, margins uh, in left to right and right to left uh, layouts, allowing you to reduce uh, the amount of code uh, required for horizontal margins. In our example, uh, we use uh, two books, a purple and a white one uh, within a container. In CSS, we start with code that is uh, just for alignment and coloring. Uh, we will add um, the margin align property uh, to the purple box, and uh, you will see how it handles different directions. For instance, uh, if we add the uh, margin and line 50 pixels, uh, 150 pixels. When uh, the HTML page is uh, left to right, it applies 50 pixels margin to the left and uh, 150 pixels to the right. When you switch uh, to right to left uh, HTML page, it applies uh, the 50 pixels to the right and the 100 pixels to the left all with uh, the same uh, CSS code. For this property, uh, we had to write separate CSS rules for left to right and right to left. Now we can do it all uh, with just one line of code. If you have the same left and right values, you can simply uh, add one value to apply it to both sides. Uh, and uh, for targeting uh, just the start or end margins based on the page's direction, uh, use margin and line start for the start margin and margin and line end for the end margin. Uh, one of my favorite use cases for margin and line is uh, uh, centering elements horizontally. Previously, um, you need to use both margin left auto and margin right auto. With margin and line, uh, it's as simple as one line, margin and line auto. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.